welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today we're gonna whip up a chicken and rice soup mix in a jar. So today we're gonna whip up a chicken and rice soup mix in a jar. It is really super simple, easy. It's affordable, it's very budget friendly. I'm gonna use some freeze dried foods for this, but you can definitely use your dehydrated. And I'm not gonna put any meat in the can because sometimes we don't like it in there. We just feel like the broth and the veggies and rice and stuff. But you can add a can of chicken to this, which is absolutely delicious. So you could definitely do it that way, the way I'm gonna do it today. Or if you want to add freeze dried chicken to this, you can and you're just gonna have to put it in a bigger jar. So we're just gonna use some basic ingredients that we already have in the house. Um, just a little bit of long grain white rice, not, not instant rice or anything, just your regular old rice that takes 20 minutes to cook, and some chicken bouillon, uh, freeze dried peas, some dehydrated carrots, and a few seasonings from the pantry. That's it, simple and easy. Let's go ahead and get started. So you just want to get started with a super clean counter because if you're anything like me, you're going to make a mess. <laughs> That's how I roll. We're going to start with one and a half cups of just regular long grain white rice. And I guess you could use instant in this, but I've never done it that way. We just use our regular rice. It doesn't take long to cook this, just the time it takes to cook the rice. So we're gonna do one and a half cups, and I'm using a pint jar, but this makes a ton of soup. Um, it really does make a lot of soup. So uh, we're gonna do one and a half cups. Look at that, not messy today, being tricky. <laughs> and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of chicken bouillon to this. We're gonna use about eight cups of water to make this soup. So you want a decent amount of your chicken bouillon in there. So you get some good flavor. Cause we like the flavor, definitely. We don't wanna be eating bland if we don't have to. And then we're gonna add about a quarter cup of peas to this. And you don't need a whole lot in there. But, and you know, this is pretty tight in the jar, so you don't wanna go too overboard. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of our carrots as well. And I put the rice in first so all those powders can kind of fall down in there. But I don't, I guess you could do it anyway, but I just do it like this. <laughs> so a quarter cup of those carrots, and we're gonna have to shake this down to get our seasoning in there. But this is all we are using for our ingredients. Now to give this a little bit more seasoning, I'm gonna put one tablespoon of parsley in there. Because parsley's always good for you. So we'll get that right in there. And then we're gonna do a half a tablespoon of minced onions. Oh, we go a little heavy on that. <laughs> I always like a little more onions. But half a tablespoon to, you know, a tablespoon, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. And then we are going to add about a half a teaspoon of pepper to this. And you can just, uh, you can adjust that to your flavor. And I'm not going to add any salt right now. And I can add salt at the end. You could put a little bit of salt in there. But I try to be careful whenever I'm using chicken bouillon because to me it is super salty. So that is it for our jars. And this is so simple and easy to make. I'm going to add a can of chicken to this today. So let's jump over to the stove and cook one up. All right, to get this started, I'm just gonna add eight cups of water to my pot. And I just grab my big old soup pot, makes a decent amount, definitely. And then I'm gonna take my jar and pour it right in. I am gonna add a can of chicken to this today, but I am gonna wait a little bit because we wanna cook that rice. And the chicken's already cooked, we really just have to heat it up. 
So I'm just going to wait a few minutes to add this and get it up to a boil. And then I will shred my chicken and get that in there. And I'm going to add the broth from the can of chicken as well. We're going to put everything right in there. Just shred it up. So once we have this up to a good rolling boil, I'm going to give it a quick stir. And then I'm just going to pour in the juice from my can of chicken. In an emergency situation, you definitely do not want to waste any nutrients or flavor. You want to capture every bit of it. So using the every little bit is going to help you have more nutritious meals and it's going to be great. So I'm just going to turn this down and let this simmer for about 15 minutes. I'm going to make sure my rice is cooked and I'm going to shred up my chicken and toss it in there. And there you have it. Chicken and rice soup. It is super simple and easy to put together. You can make a ton of jars at once. It makes a wonderful emergency food to have in your pantry. And I just take these and vacuum seal them in the mason jar. When I put them together, you can put these in mylar bags. You could use an oxygen absorber. You can really do this any way you want. You just wanna make sure for long-term storage, this needs to be sealed so it is airtight, cool, dark, and dry. All your great pantry conditions. And this is so delicious and wonderful. We just love this soup. It's not super soupy. It doesn't have tons of extra liquid, but you could definitely add more liquid if you want to stretch this further. It would work perfectly. Maybe a little bit more bouillon if you're going to add more water, but it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect chicken and rice soup. Yum. Com great comfort meal and wonderful in emergencies. It's got everything you need in there. Just whip it up quick. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.